Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about whether the new MacBook Pro is worth $2,000. Hello, my name is D.I. Lee and you are my VIP and I'm a software engineer by day and a YouTuber in my free time. And on this channel, we talk about tech news and reviews. And I've been using the new MacBook Pro 14 inch for about two weeks now since it's come out. And I'm trying to answer the question, is this machine really worth $2,000? And what I've learned is that the answer is more nuanced than you might originally think. Because in some ways, I don't think this is worth $2,000 at all but in other ways, I think this is quite a bargain package. So let's explore both sides of the argument and see in which scenarios this is a complete ripoff and in which scenarios this is an absolute bargain deal. All right, so let's start with the negative side. I just did a whole video comparing this MacBook Pro with a baseline M1 MacBook Air and the M1 MacBook Air was able to go toe to toe with this device on almost every single benchmark. I'll leave a link to that entire video in the corner, but to sum up the story, the M1 MacBook Air is literally half the price and can do everything just as well as this new machine. So why pay double when you can get all of the performance, all of the battery life for just half the price, just save yourself a thousand dollars and go spend that on some fancy dinners or anything else you've been wanting to save a thousand dollars for. And if you're finding this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. But on the other hand, this has quite a good value proposition if we really break it down. Now, the difference between the M1 MacBook Air and this is first of all, RAM and storage. The baseline 14 inch MacBook Pro comes with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. If you want that even on the baseline M1 MacBook Air, that's gonna set you back $200 for each upgrade. So we are already looking at a $1,400 machine. So what else do you get in the MacBook Pro? Well, this new display is amazing. It's the 120 Hertz ProMotion display and it can serve up HDR contents up to 1000 nits. If you wanted to get an external monitor that could have those specs, the monitor itself would set you back about $300. So now we're at a $1,700 machine. So what other differences are there? The new MacBook Pro comes with these convenient ports. And if you want to buy a dongle to have access to those ports, that's gonna set you back another $20. The new 1080 webcam, if you want to buy a third party 1080p webcam, that's gonna cost you about $20 as well. This one has a 70 watt hour battery and the MacBook Air has a 50 watt hour battery. So let's say you just buy an external battery pack and those battery packs are gonna go for about $30. And finally, the speakers. The speakers on this guy are incredible. The cheapest computer speakers I could find on Amazon were 10 bucks. So when you add all of those up, we get a total final price of 1780, just shy of $1,800. So if you got a MacBook Air, souped it up to the specs of this new MacBook Pro, the difference would only be $220. So what do you get for that $220? Well, the baseline MacBook Pro has an M1 Pro chip. So let's just knock off $100 for that. And then for the last difference of just about $100, why don't we just give it to Apple for their R&D, all of the research that they've been doing? Because in order to make a machine like this, it probably took the effort of hundreds, if not thousands of engineers, designers, making different prototypes, seeing what worked the best. And they probably worked on that for years. So if we only pay $100 for every one of these laptops sold, I think that's a pretty good price given the armies of people needed to develop, test, and ship out a product like this. And when it's packaged that way, this is quite a good deal. So there you have it, VIP. That's all I got for today. Let me know down in the comments whether you are interested in getting the new MacBook Pro with the notch and everything, or if you have questions on alternative laptops that you can get for a lot cheaper price. I respond to all my comments, so I'd really appreciate if you left a comment for me. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.